Hello, I'm Evziba. Welcome back to my channel. Now, I am just so excited. So excited because I'm going to be doing a project that I've wanted to do for over five years now. Like, I have the things then put on, buy my equipment, buy my tools, and I just did not have the courage. I did not have the goal to take on this project. And I don't know if it's COVID, but let me tell you something. I get an extra dose of boldness. And so, um, if you watch my last video, you will see that I am a lover of the Moringa plant. Now, what I will be doing today is this special project that is going to be so good for my skin. I will be doing a face soap using moringa all right so i have my coconut oil um i needed more than one bottle i didn't realize so i had to go into my own personal stock for this project and i have the lye that i'll be using my hand mixer or my hand blender wooden spoons and a silicone spatula so I've already gone ahead to weigh up my ingredients. And so let's get started. So I'm, I've frozen my moringa. I've blended and frozen it. Want to get out every bit. And now, if you notice, I'm wearing these hard gloves because I heard that this is a very dangerous project and you could end up getting burnt if you're not wearing the proper safety gears and if you don't really take the necessary steps to protect yourself. So I'm wearing my goggles and I'm wearing my hard gloves. So I'll be pouring the lye slowly because this is a, an exothermic reaction. That means it's going to give off heat. It's going to get very hot. And if you're not careful, the light could actually explode. If you pour the water in the light, although I'm not even certain about that. I'm not even certain about that, but that's what they say. If you pour the water in the lye, it could explode. So today I'm just being a mad scientist, trying something new, trying something that I've always wanted to do. This is taking a very long time to come out. By the way, I didn't mention that I have my silicone bowl. This is what the mold that I'll be using to set the soap in. Let me just remove these out of the way because the space is limited. Just have to mix, mix, mix until everything is combined. Oh my, it's sticking. And the reaction has started. I'm smelling, oh, smelling. I think I should have put on my mask. Never tell me that part here. Yeah. It actually has to stick to the bottom. Why? Oh boy. It's sticking to the bottom of the container. I know some people say that you're to use a glass container. But um I left this going spoil it. 
Right, actually stick. Mm -mm. I think sometimes these people need to be honest, you know, because when you're trying something for the first time, you want to know all the different things that can happen. And I actually didn't know that the lye would stick to the pan. It's not even coming off. Anyway, if you notice how quick the ice has melted, because as I tell you, this is an exothermic reaction, so it gives off a lot of heat. So in no time, the ice is going to melt. If I didn't use the ice, then what would have happened is that it would actually, the solution would be much hotter. But right now, I'm just smelling that kind of, I can smell the reaction. So like I actually removed my glove, right? Cause I couldn't feel it so good. This thing hot. Remember this is ice, you know, and the lye has dissolved the ice and the reaction, given off a reaction and this thing is very hot. All right, so I'm just going to ensure that my oil is properly mixed. And then I am going to add uh, I wonder if I should put on my glove I'm just gonna slowly add this thing all right let me remove the bubbles first because it has some bubbles and I hear it's not supposed to have bubbles so I'm removing the bubbles So now I'm going to be pouring this and I'm going to be stirring while I pour. Like I wish I had some fragrance because this is just not smelling so good. Cameraman, you smell it? <laughs> yeah. It's just not smelling so good. Really smell awful. I hope when the soap actually cures, it will have a better smell. So I'm going to now use my stick blender and stir this until it actually reaches a trace. I'm just stirring these together, ensuring everything is combined. I'm gonna go low first on low, and then I will turn up the speed. And they say what you need to do is to mix until you see a trace. I'm going to see if I know what that actually is and if this come out good trust me I think my face going love this mm -mm, the smell like the pattern or the drips when you do it like this the drips should actually start forming on top oh i don't think i see that yet 
If you don't have a stick blender, you can always use your spatula. Just that the process will take a whole lot longer. No choice But that's how I hope my hair may look first you know, cause like I'm mean, not really see people in my blend so long. So I hope I don't have anything for in terms of the trace. Let's see. I guess it's coming. Now if a trace doesn't come, I don't know what is gonna happen. I think I need to do some research to see what would happen if a trace doesn't come. And Depending on how much I get, I think I'm going to do a giveaway for the first three persons who actually comment on this video and give me your feedback. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a giveaway, but you're going to have to find your way or figure out your way how you're going to collect the soap. But I definitely think I want to do a giveaway. I'm going to use it first and then... I will give it away so maybe for the new year because they said that the soap needs the soap takes at least six to eight weeks to cure now one thing to note is that if you are going to be using your stick blender to make soap there is no way you can bring it back into your kitchen for food so this is you know just know that it's gonna only serve for this purpose and I think I'm at the trays so now I'm actually gonna pour my soap So, so happy I'm finished this project and no burns. I was so scared to do this all along. The mixture is still quite hot so I'm going to leave it overnight so that it can cool. I think it takes 24 hours and then it has to cure for the next six to eight weeks so I know that I'm not going to be able to use the soap until mid-January. So, ah, that's my soap project. My first soap project. I will actually let you know how it goes. So, um, yeah, thank you. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks. See you next time.